Yes, 911. Yes, I need to report an emergency. Um, uh, can you hold on a second? I got another call. Hold on. Hello? <laughs> hey, man, what's going on? Uh, um, <laughs> Not too much. I'm just hanging out, you know. My tech. Hey, can you hold on a second? I'm on the phone. Jeez. Anyway, uh, well, what are you doing later tonight? Oh, that's cool. Hey, you want to meet? What time you want to go there? It's my neck. Eight o'clock. Eight o'clock. Yeah, eight o'clock works for me. Uh, All right. Jesus, we. Have, I'm on the phone. Uh, All right. I, I, hold on. I gotta go. Okay, I got something going on right now. Just, uh, just give me, just send me a message or something later. All right. All right. Bye. Sorry about that. Um. Yeah, I need to report an emergency, please. I got my BSI on. Do you have your BSI on? I got my BSI on. Do you have your BSI on? I don't know. Do I have my BSI on? Is the scene safe? Is the scene safe, Jason? I don't know. Is the scene safe? Okay, okay, okay. Let's go get the scene safe. Yeah. Mechanism of injury is a fall. We have a 49 year old female who is complaining of neck pain. We will now have our firemen hold head stabilization to keep her head from moving. My general impression of the patient is that she is supine on the floor and breathing in pain. Ah. We will now check level of consciousness with our three main questions. Hi, what is your name? My name's Pam. Do you know where you are? I'm in the firehouse. Do you know what day it is? Today's Sunday. Okay, so I'm looking for any apparent life threats and chief complaint is neck pain. We'll now go through the ABCs. I will assess and maintain airway. She's talking to me, so her airway is clear going to initiate appropriate oxygen therapy, which will be uh, oxygen at 15 liters per minute via a non-rebreather mask. I'm going to make sure she is getting appropriate ventilation. Go ahead and breathe for me. And breathe. Okay. And throughout this assess assessment, I will continually check her airway for any life threats. I'm now going to check for major bleeding. I'm going to do a body sweep, checking for blood. No blood. No blood. Okay, so I check for major bleeding. There is no major bleeding. I'm now going to check for pulse. Pulse is strong and regular. And check skin color, temperature, and condition. Skin is warm, pink, and dry. Uh, at this point, I'm going to decide on the transport. We will transport after completing our rapid assessment. Now I'm going to check her vitals, which include pulse, respirations, and blood pressure. Blood pressure is 120 over 80. Now I'm going to check her pulse. Just kidding, I just checked her respirations. Her respirations are 12 and regular. Now I'm checking for pulse. Pulse is 60, strong and regular. At this point I'm going to go through my sample questions. Are you feeling any pain anywhere? Just in my neck. Anywhere else? No. Are you allergic to anything? No. Do you take any medications? No. Have you ever had neck pain before? Yes. Uh, how long ago was that? I have chronic neck pain. Okay. 
when was the last time you ate or drank anything? A couple hours ago. And can you briefly tell me what happened? I just tripped and fell and hit my head. Okay, so we finished the sample questions and now we are going to move into our rapid assessment. Throughout this assess assessment, I will be checking for DCAP BTLS. So, checking head. Checking face. I'm going to look at pupils. Regular and equal. Checking for any cerebral spinal fluid. Nose, and do you have anything in your mouth? No. Okay. Now I'm moving down her neck. Tell me if you feel any pain. Just where you first put your hands. Okay. At this point, I'm also checking for JVD, jugular vein distension, and tracheal deviation. At this time, since I've checked the neck, I will be putting on the cervical collar. Is that uncomfortable? Yes. Can you breathe all right? Yes. Then it's perfect. All right. Now I'm going to move down into the chest area. Checking for lung sounds. Will you breathe in for me? One more time. All right. And one more time. And one more time. Okay. Lung sounds are equal and present. I'm going to check the four quadrants of her abdomen. Don't see any distension, which is good. Check pelvic area. Tell me if you feel any pain. No. I can skip over the private area. There's no reason due to the mechanism of injury. Go down the legs. I'm going to check for pulse. Weak and regular. Same on the other foot. Can you wiggle your toes? Which toe do I have? My little toe. Which toe do I have? My big one. Okay. Going down arms. Once again, checking for pulse. Both are strong and regular. Can you squeeze my hands? Good. Which finger do I have? My little one. Which finger do I have? My big one. Excellent. Now I am going to, with the help of Helper Tom, we will roll her onto a backboard. Okay, at the person on the head's count, we will roll her over. On three. One, two, three. I'm checking the lumbar and thoracic area of the spine. And we're going to slide the board right underneath her while we have her on her side. Okay? At the head person's count, we'll roll her back down. Down on three. One, two, three. Okay, since so your count? Down on one, two, three. Ugh. There's a seatbelt was in front of my butt. Up on three. One, two, three. Okay. So now that we have her on the board, after we strap her in, load her into the rig, we're going to continue with our ongoing assessment. That includes repeating the initial assessment, including ABCs, and we'll also go through our vital signs, which include pulse, blood pressure, respirations, and skin color temperature condition, and pupils. And if we had found anything, we would do what we need to do for any secondary injuries, and repeat any focused assessments that we would need to do.